98 year old World War II veteran Pompano Beach reflects on his time serving our country on this Veterans Day. Local 10 Syrah Onward shares his story. This Veterans Day, I sat down with a 98 year old World War II veteran in Pompano Beach. He talked about what he saw in his years flying planes over the South Pacific and in a time long before cell phones, how he kept in touch with his sweetheart. The war started in 1941. And uh, I was in my first year of junior college. Born in October 1923, 98-year-old Donald Henningsen of Pompano Beach tells me about enlisting into the U.S. Air Corps back when he lived in Iowa. I got my wings and my commission on, in June of 1944. Flying C-47 planes, just like this model he still keeps in his home. Don flew in the South Pacific, recalling transporting American prisoners by plane who were captured in Japan. Had been so mistreated that they were on stretchers. Also sharing the hopeful memories, correspondence from his sweetheart Betty, who was in high school while Don was at war. Yes, and she has uh, every letter I wrote. Four days after Don came home from the war in 1945, the two were engaged. 75 years later, Betty and Don are still going strong. What was it like getting a letter? It was wonderful, and nobody was ever courted like I was. Betty says life on the home front wasn't easy. It was unbelievable uh, the things that you uh, had to go without. There was no nylon for anything because it all went for parachute. Don says he kept in touch with his Air Corps brothers after the war. I was in touch with uh, quite a few of them for a good many years, but I've outlived uh, the rest, most of them. Uh, uh, don't have very many left anymore. Don and Betty Henningsen have lived in South Florida for 20 years. They have two daughters, four grandchildren, six great grandchildren, and two great great grandchildren. That is the latest reporting from Fort Lauderdale this Veterans Day. Syrah Onwork, Local 10 News. Syrah, thank you.